Here we have an HP Compact NC6120 laptop, Windows XP. It's got a card reader on the front here, SD, MS, Pro. You got MMC, SM, which is Smart Media, I believe, and XD. So that's cool. Built right into the front, different, different, different cards. USB, USB, headphones, microphone. DVD ROM CD recordable or record the CDs but it won't record the DVDs. Serial. It's got a parallel port for uh, your printer. Ethernet, modem, VGA, two more USBs. Your PCI slot with little cards here. You haven't seen these before. This supposedly works. It has a one gigabyte RAM, two gigahertz processor. So here's your parallel port, and I believe this is S video out. Got your cable lock port in the back. So we'll plug it in, and we'll see if it boots. Got built-in Wi-Fi too. I just plugged it in, and it looks like it automatically started. Reading something here, it looks like the discs got power light. Windows is starting up. The timer dating system is invalid. Yeah, please use that button control panel to properly set. All right, here's your keypad. Here are the buttons for it SXGA screen. Powered by our gear. Now I don't have to go through here and delete a whole bunch of stuff off of here. But this one works. Our Mac updates are turned off. Antivirus software might not be installed. We're not connected to the internet anyway. I'll connect it in a minute. HD clone, disk checkup. Launch Pix Loader, Malware Bytes, Anti-Malware, I recognize that. I use that a lot. So let me go through here, deal with this little stuff, and we'll come back. Here's the information on it. Microsoft Windows XP Professional 2002, Service Pack 3, Intel Pentium RM, Processor 2, gigabert, 2 gigahertz, 2 gigabytes of RAM. 798 megahertz and you could do system restore if it has a recovery partition that could theoretically then put this back to factory get rid of all the stuff he put on here hardware yeah. I need to figure out here is how to set the time control panel date and time It's not 1980. It's uh, 2020. It's not going to let me do that. Try typing in 2020, but it won't let me. Today is the 19th. That's correct. Time is 1041. Uh, 10.42 now, 22, and uh, time is p.m. Enter that. Now, I'm surprised this thing booted right up as soon as I plugged it in. Go through here. 
Right. Close that. What does he use for a web browser? I don't see one. It's got one, but what does it have? I don't know if that's what dashboard is. New folder, VIP software, radioactive designs, UV, 1G. Click on that classic start menu. That looks like 95, 98 type of thing. Google Chrome. Well, go online. It's hooked up to Ethernet, so. Google Chrome's always slow. Even on Windows 7. I'm a Firefox person. DNS probe finished, no internet. Okay, why not? Alright, finally got online. Had to go on the Wi Fi because I didn't want to work with the Ethernet for whatever reason, even though it shows I'm connected to the internet with Ethernet. But, who knows? Now it's telling me that. Firefox doesn't support XP, yet yeah, I got XP on the other uh, XP machine. I forget the damn name of it at the moment. E-Machines, that's running uh, Firefox 2 on XP. But that's got XP Home, this is XP Pro. Maybe it doesn't like Pro, I don't know. I mean, there's ways around it. I'll eventually figure it out. Alright, doing a little upgrade now, installing Firefox, updating it. Let's try Launch. Let's try this again. There we go. Updated Firefox, and now we're in. Now how well it will play, I don't know. I don't expect it to actually play because this is not gonna be able to support 1080p, which is what most videos are uploaded in now. But at least I can still get online now. So it can always be a great backup or just vintage. I should see if this will play my Microsoft Train Simulator, though that might be uh, too demanding on the hardware. I have another vintage uh, XP game, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? I remember playing that in middle school, and I finally found the version I wanted, so I'll probably, put, I'll, I'll probably try to put that on here. But... Yeah, we're going to click on... If I don't like the little touchpad, you got the little scrolly thing there. Uh, let's see. Mute it so I don't get copyrighted. This one seems to be playing okay. The ad was a little choppy, but, you know, screw the ads. But, it seems, seems to be playing alright. Automatic updates found 37 updates. Let's see if they will install. So I like how these buttons here just like a little ridge to them, make them easier to press. I think, I think this is probably the only keypad I would actually like. Security update. Microsoft.NET Framework 4 on XP, Server 2003, Vista, Windows 7, Server 2008, x86, it's 32, update 1 to 37. So obviously this will take a while. Alright, all updates have been installed. Time is correct now, it was in the wrong time zone. Now it's in the correct. So time is holding now. Okay, we're back. Got it working with the Ethernet now. Had to do what's called a windsock reset. So if you have an older laptop that for some reason won't work over Ethernet, you go to start, run, you type command or CMD. At the DOS prompt, you type central art E, 
Now, it's going to look like nothing happened, but something does in the background. Then you'll type WinSock Reset, hit Enter. It says Successful, type Exit, and then Restart the Computer. And now it's working again. And I got the time automatically synced to internet time. So that's finally up and running. Next step is let's test out the uh, DVD, see if it plays movies okay. And if it does, then I'll try installing some kind of games on here and see if we can get it to play a game. He preaches about the promised land. He tells me believe on Jesus. Lord steals money from my hand. Come on. All right, hit mute. It's a couple seconds is all you get because of Susan, but DVD's working. And I can move the mouse and it won't affect it. And like if I'm watching a YouTube video, YouTube will play fine if you once everything loads and if you don't touch nothing. You start to move a mouse and the picture free starts freezing up and stuff. But the DVD it plays no problem. I can move the mouse, touch whatever. It doesn't freeze up, crystal clear. Audio using the little Bluetooth dongle through the speaker here. These things are a pain in the ass to get to play nice with these things. But DVD works no problem. Alright, so I installed this game and it installed QuickTime32 on here. No issues, movie played. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And I used to play this on a Mac back in middle school. And it took me a while, but I finally found the version. At least according to the screenshot the seller showed, this is the version I want. This is the version I remember. Let's see if this thing can handle it. Name. <laughs> Play with this name. Using a USB mouse. Hello and welcome to Acme. I'm the Chief. But you can call me, well, the Chief. We're in the business of tracking down thieves. And we're ultimately after one. Carmen San Diego. Every creep we've ever collared has been working for her. Now, when you report for duty, I assign you a case. You go to the scene of the crime and look for clues about where the crook took the loot. Then the chase begins. Any bystander is a potential witness. I didn't mean to exit that. I was trying to adjust the volume, but you get the idea. Carmen has pulled another caper, this time in Egypt. One of her hoods has stopped up the entire Nile River Delta. I don't know what she wants with all that silk, but I do know the Egyptians need it back. So get tracking. Over and out, Scout. So we're going to go to Cuba. It's been years since I played this. I'm trying to remember stuff. Yep, we're on the trail there, the janitors. Look, those bumbling janitors. They must have been cleaning up after your crook. Good tracking. What's on your mind? A coiffure the color of steel sat atop his head. He said the indigo tie-dye patterns in Kano made him blue and left him in knots.
what's on your mind? A coiffure the color of steel sat atop his head. He said the indigo tie-dye patterns in Kano made him blue and left him in knots. So hair is steel. Or gray. He's somewhere in Kano. Uh, I gotta figure this out. But you get the idea. Alright, Kano's in Nigeria. I'd look it up. If you want to learn more about a location, try calling up one of the Acme Good Guides, who can give you a tour. If you do, you can call back that Good Guide later to help check over your warrant. Hi there, what's up? If someone bet him a pound of flesh, he wouldn't be able to afford it. I suggest you seek out a stretch of land on the southernmost side of Central America. Try. I'm gonna try Panama. El pueblo siente ser if you lose the trail, it'll be a cat playing with like a ball of yarn. What seems to be the problem? He had a nickel colored noggin. He's gathering seed money to open a doll stand in the shadow of the Himalayas. 